Elon Musk had a very interesting conversation about aliens. And as he analyzed, with this rate of development in a few hundred years, we will be able to basically bicycle on other planets. And after a few thousand years, we will be able to easily visit other galaxies. But our civilization hasn't lived that long if we compare it to how long Earth or other planets exist. If we look at other planets, other galaxies, and analyze how long habitable planets exist that can have life, it begs the question why we haven't seen any signs of aliens. Where are they? This is a Fermi paradox. But fascinatingly enough, there are answers to these questions. And these answers are exciting and terrifying at the same time. With that, Elon Musk proposes his own solution to the Fermi paradox and whether aliens exist anywhere or not. We have a fascinating story today. So, let's start from the beginning. Plenty of time has passed by now for extraterrestrial visitors to have come given us a visit. And they haven't. Which means that an easy conclusion we can draw from it is that there are no aliens. But is that the only conclusion which can be drawn from it? Well, SpaceX CEO and rabid fanboy of space travel Elon Musk seems to think that it is a very complicated puzzle to solve. As Elon said, Fermi paradox is one of the toughest questions in philosophy. One of the disturbing implications that has been brought up as a solution to the Fermi paradox is the possibility that intelligent life wipes itself out before it can reach the technological point of space travel to other planets, such as by depleting their planet's resources, nuclear weapons, or climate change. And Musk theorizes that this is why multi-planetary travel, and ultimately colonization, is so important. With our planet's current challenges, we might be on our way to destroying ourselves before reaching multi-planetary travel. This is what Musk calls the Great Filter, and it is why he is so dedicated to not only space travel, but the idea of colonizing Mars as a backup for humanity. If we are indeed the only intelligent species in the cosmos, and we destroy ourselves through nuclear war, or Earth is destroyed by vested interest in fossil fuels, slowing down the process towards renewable energy, then that doesn't just kill humans, but destroys the only intelligent life in the galaxy. And Elon thinks that we shouldn't stop searching for an alien life at all. As he tweeted, it would be amazing to encounter an alien civilization, provided it is not their invasion fleet. Another tweet Musk posted on his Twitter contains a study from Gizmodo, which has different solutions to the Fermi paradox, with different explanations as to why we haven't had a visit from any extraterrestrial life yet aside from the depressing possibility that they all blew themselves up. Therefore, there are very interesting but at the same time, the creepiest reasons aliens haven't come to say hello. First of all, very popular theory is that they've been watching us like zoo animals. This one sounds like a conspiracy theory or science fiction, but it has been theorized that aliens may have been around us the whole time and have been watching us in our natural environment the whole time. Out of different theories that try to solve the Fermi paradox, this is the one that Elon Musk agrees with. But this argument was first proposed in 1973 by John Ball. And regardless of whether they're watching us for entertainment, as suggested by South Park a while ago, or studying us for scientific reasons, out in space watching from afar or hidden amongst us on Earth, this theory says the reason we haven't seen aliens is that they don't want to be seen. And at the World Government Summit, this argument was expanded by Elon Musk, who said that if there are super-intelligent aliens out there in space, probably they're already observing us and we just are not smart enough to realize it. Any advanced alien civilization that was at all interested in populating the galaxy, even without exceeding the speed of light, could populate the entire galaxy maybe in 20 million years max. So that is quite likely. One more suggestion relating to aliens secretly being around us is that they have, in fact, been trying to contact us for years, but we haven't got the technology to receive their messages. Stephen Webb has claimed that there are many avenues they might have been using to try and contact us, including particle signals, tachyon signals, electromagnetic signals, gravitational signals, or something outside the realms of physics or our imaginations. For those of you excited at the prospect of aliens, like Musk is, there is hope that one day we might develop the technology to realize how many of their calls we have missed. 
One more solution to the Fermi paradox is a celestial version of that one seen from Indiana Jones, with both us and the aliens waiting in different metaphorical rooms for the other to break the silence first. There have been points made by both David Brin and Michael Mishar that attempting to transmit a call out to space to contact aliens might draw dangerous attention to us prematurely, which, at the very least, is a policy issue. If, theoretically, other alien species decided to do the same, then what do we get? Everyone listening, but no one speaking. With that, it might be strange that aliens might have no interest in leaving their home planet. The concept of Dyson spheres, large structures that encase stars, or perhaps entire galaxies, might mean that aliens may have built their own entertainment to keep them occupied, which has kept them from exploring the universe. In other words, they exist. We just haven't seen them because they've not bothered to leave their planet. Also, a unique proposal was made by Milan M. Kirkovich and Robert Bradbury, which is that many intelligent alien species tend to become more machine-based, with large supercomputers that produce a lot of waste heat. As such, they aren't looking for the comparably quite hot areas which biological life needs, but instead cooler areas which make getting rid of waste heat easier. According to this theory, that would take any space-traveling species out to the outer rims of the galaxy, rather than anywhere near us. That means they're out there, but just not near us. This is a reasonable explanation, but has been argued against by other academics by now. Stephen Wolfram has suggested that heat-free computing may be in the cards for our future. So presumably, if we can make it, so can intelligent life. That blows an irreparable hole in that solution to the Fermi paradox. Another explanation is that, just like the theory that they're waiting for us to contact them first because they're worried about drawing attention to themselves, there's also the theory that most of the aliens have their own equivalents of Ridley Scott's alien or H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, and have decided not to travel at all due to the perceived risk of traveling in space. After all, they cannot guarantee the humans they meet are going to be any more friendly than we can guarantee the aliens we will meet will be. That isn't even to mention the other risks about sending members of their species out for long distances in space. In the light of everything terrifying we know lurks in the place where no one can hear you scream, it makes sense for anyone, alien or not, to look at the concept of space travel and decide to stay home. Truly intelligent life indeed. All in all, Musk believes that to escape the great filter of destruction of humanity by humanity, we need to begin colonizing Mars and other planets whilst we have the chance, especially if we are in fact the only intelligent life in the galaxy. But for sci-fi fans who may be disappointed by the low odds, be comforted by the concept that there are a number of different reasons as to why we haven't made contact with aliens yet. And just because the odds are low, it doesn't mean that it can't happen. Don't forget to subscribe.